here's another big one okay see how they're watching us um airplane and um jet planes and uh fighter jets and space shuttles you ever look on nasa.gov or the army.gov the manuscripts talk about flying over a flat non-rotating plane why is that well the reason is is because the math would be different if you were going with the spin in a fighter jet you'd be going against the grain and you'd have to you know make adjustments why does it say on a flat non-rotating earth because it is a flat non-rotating earth um, let's see why do they call it a planet it's kind of weird you know what I mean a planet because that's how they planned it plane P-L-A-N-E-I-T. You know what I mean? There's a reason. They planned it like that. Airplane. Flying over a plane. You know what I mean? Guys. Kingdom. King. Dome. The Firmament. Operation Dominic. All that shit. Trying to blow up the fucking uh, the firmament up there didn't happen you know um, let's see what other words what other words realize we see realize airplane kingdom um, and there's a couple other ones but yeah there was a time when I was in like eighth grade I was smoking weed and I said to my friend you know we we're looking at the sky and everything and I said, isn't it crazy that we're like, doesn't it feel like we're in like a snow globe? And I'll tell you, man, it's in the Bible, flat earth. I used to laugh at it. I'm sorry that it took me so long to realize that the earth was flat. You go up in an airplane, there's no curvature. You can never see it. It's, an in, it's like an infinite plane. There's never no curvature. They always use some bullshit lens trick. Biblically, nothing in the Bible says the earth is a sphere. And people like Joe Rogan and Neil deGrasse Tyson know this shit. Because in the 1500s or the 15th century, nobody had the technology to go up and know that the earth was round. So how did they know? Because they know that flat earth is biblical. 